Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Linda Ong from Malaysia. I am a cataract and refractive surgeon. Uh, today, I would like to share with you my experience of using Fakic IOLs. Uh, I've been implanting Fakic IOLs for about three years now. I've used um, a few uh, brands on the market um, and I, I can say that majority of my patients are happy with their results so far. I've recently started implanting Icryl Fakic IOLs from Biotech. I find that um, this lens is actually very easy and uh, safe to use. In terms of material used in the Icryl Fakic IOL, it is actually a hydrophilic acrylic material. Um, so it's exactly the same material used in many of the intraocular lenses used during cataract surgery. So for the cataract surgeon, this gives a sense of familiarity and there's ease of use because it's similar to how the lens behaves in cataract surgery. In terms of how the lens behaves in the eye, it's also similar to how an intraocular lens during cataract surgery behaves. So there's actually um, a very, very, very short learning curve uh, of implantation. The only uh, thing that the surgeon would need to familiarize themselves would be tucking the haptics under the iris. Um, once the lens is in position, it's actually very, very stable. The optic is, uh, should be centered uh, on, the on the light reflex and then dialed into position. And the lens usually does not rotate much after and during viscoelastic removal with implantation of these lenses. In terms of post-operative results and complications, I would say that majority of my patients are very happy and satisfied with their implanted Icryl Fakic IOLs. So far, none of my patients have had any complications post-operatively and uh, most importantly, patients are happy and thankful and satisfied that they have implanted Fakic IOLs in their eye. I would like to share some tips and advice for cataract surgeons who are attempting to implant Fakic IOLs for the first time. Um, go for it! This lens is a very simple and easy to use lens. Um, you will not have much problem learning how to implant this lens and the learning curve is actually very, very short. Um, but just to ensure good operative outcomes and results, pre-operative assessment is crucial. So please make sure that the patient is assessed well preoperatively um, and choose the right patient uh, for this procedure. So before surgery, we have to make sure that the anterior chamber depth is adequate, um, that patient has a stable refraction and also that patient is, uh, does not have any ocular surface disease. If patient has any problems like dry eyes, please treat them prior to implantation. And also, measurement of the horizontal and vertical white to white is very important so that the lens is sized correctly. Um, if all these uh, measures are taken before surgery, I'm very sure that you will be able to get a very happy and satisfied patient after the surgery.